right, welcome everybody. We've got a cool match here between Chris X3 and Yanini. This is the loser bracket final, and I am joined by Curry Maker. Welcome, man. Welcome. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Thanks for casting with me. I appreciate it. Yeah, me too. Okay, so we are in the last round of the loser bracket, and as we saw earlier, Mr. Mike is in the winner bracket final. So the winner of this will go on to face Mr. Mike in the the grand finals which is really awesome that went by so quickly too like this only started yeah like what a week or not week but like two weeks ago maybe two and a half or something like that yeah i think friday two weeks ago this tournament started yeah that's crazy great job on everybody's part getting all this put through super sick um okay so we have a double china match we got chong king chong king so makes me happy obviously <laughs> i hope everybody uh enjoys <laughs> as much as i do let me uh get these guys up probably gonna hear some background sound from yanini for sure so just give me a second to mute him for uh actually we'll keep the game sound from yanini we like the uh the yanini commentary All right, and let me start a prediction. Now let's go gambling. Yes, we love gambling here. We should have like a leaderboard or something, like a total of total votes and everything. Yeah. On like, like have a prediction beforehand for the entire tournament and then just, yeah. All right, I'm going to start the prediction give it two minutes so that it expires before the spin actually comes in i think that's fair yeah twig says i learned my lesson gambling yeah a lot of people have actually <laughs> some people have lost big i think script lost all of his points <laughs> or something like that I guess I should have put who will win Chong King number one and then separate it who will win Chong King number two. Nah, I think we are. The, the viewers are smart enough to get that. <laughs> yeah. This prediction is not available to viewers in your region. Uh, it's so weird. It's so dumb. Pidgeot has to use a VPN for it. Is Chris not live? At least for me, he isn't. So yeah. Hopefully, he uh, remembers. It's got about a minute and a half here. Nice. You're already already typing. I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Notify him as well. Should probably turn down the gain on my mic. Yeah, Pidgeot was using a VPN because he wants those channel points so he can torture me with shit spins. <laughs> Chris says one second. Pidgey, and eh, not Pidgey, but Rolling yeah, Twig 50. going all in, putting. 53,000 on oh my back. goodness wow that's brave <laughs> return rates are not great right oh now. my put your money on Yanini but like if oh, whoever if voted Chris, Chris this, yeah the the three people will become rich if, if Chris actually wins this yeah imagine that emojin A 31.92 return ratio. Holy shit. So if you put in a thousand points, you're going to get over 30,000 points back. That's insane. Yeah, and if you put in 2K, you get twice that. Holy moly. Chris didn't lose a match. Uh, he, Well, this is loser's bracket, so <laughs> he won somewhere, or he, he lost fell. somewhere. Uh, You want to run down the spin? Nah, sure can do. Uh, we're gonna see an elimination on Hush using the scissors in a homeless person's disguise. 
and a kill on Imogen Royce as a block guard using an explosion accident. Very nice, very nice. Is Chris? Oh yeah, that's right. Chris plays in 21 by 9. That's why it looks so cool. It does look really cool, but I couldn't play with it, I think. I don't think... I would need a bigger monitor than mine to play with that. Yeah, that's true, though. Uh, looks like Chris knows meme strat for getting the homeless person. Meme junkie. I guess... I think he discovered this one. Where if you uh, go down to where the homeless person is and oh, you yeah. just shoot outside the window, he typically enforces it. So it becomes a mostly free disguise. Uh, Yanini starting Riverside, as usual. Yanini pretty much always starts there, as far as I can tell. But yeah, I don't think I saw him starting, like, anywhere else, really. Yeah, Yanini forgot you can't trank these guys in the coat, and you have to shoot them in the head. Chris already got the homeless disguise, and uh, he probably won't go back for that block guard, I won't, I'd guess. It's not really necessary. He'll uh, just grab another, a different one from upstairs. He's going to go grab the scissors now in the apartment. <clears throat> in the meantime, Yanini replanning right now. Thinking a little bit. Oh, no. I didn't think he changed anything, actually. This is going through the back of the kitchen. Um, I didn't catch, did he shoot a drone? I was looking at Yanni's stream, so I don't know, but... It does not Ooh. seem like Imogen is like on her phone or something for me. He got a bad cycle on this dumpling cook. He's going to try and distract him with the shot, which is usually safe. However, I've gotten insta-spotted by him. That feels... Uh, uh, what would you say? Less reliable? Yanini getting almost spotted by a homeless person there. Obviously, he didn't watch Froat's match. You cannot trank them. You have to shoot them in the head, or you have to just KO them. I don't know about anybody else, but it does feel like in this game, like the uh, like inching around a corner with your gun out, like trying to shoot somebody... Where, like, you're still not in sight. It feels worse in this game than it did in Hitman 2. Like, you get spotted more yeah. often. Might be by design. Ooh, Yanini getting red guns there. Spotted from behind, I believe. I think somewhat like that, yeah. Yeah. The legs also... Do uh, I think so, Johnny. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty, sh I I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. It might just be the coats, but... Uh, Yanini going for a full replan, starting block guard now. Uh, realizes, I guess, maybe suit isn't the most optimal here. Uh, Chris getting to hush while he's downstairs. No, no problem here. You can get him on the way back up and isolate him right here where this camera is. Or rather, was. <laughs> yeah, where it was. Uh, I don't know why he's switching back into homeless here. This is not the move. You should uh, take the block guard disguise, get behind him and Mogwai, and KO them from behind on the way back up. Uh, you don't want to... This is just sort of uh, impatience. I've, I've tried to do this, and it's, it's way tighter this way than it is. Because sometimes you throw something at Hush, and he falls forward. Oh, he's got an EMP ready. Nice. He's thought this through. Sometimes you KO Hush from behind right here, and he falls forward, like, just into, like, Jun Lee's sight, and then you get ripped. Yeah. Yanini's got Hush down in 30 seconds. Very nice. There's uh, several homeless dis disguises you can go for here. And he needs to go acquire the scissors as well. Looks like he's going to try and shoot a drone, but you can't hit one from here. you got to do it from the actual deprivation room. Hush. Alright, and Hush is down for Chris X3 here. Very nice. And he's got the block guard disguise already set up. Um, yeah, it looks like he's about to shoot a drone on his way out of here, so I'm I'm guessing he didn't shoot one before. Oh, 
No, I think he did. Oh, he's going to finish them. He's going to shoot all five. And then run to the exit. Because he's got the EMP set up for this accident oh, explosion on the gas yeah. tank. He'll just place it next to it. Come on. There's some aim for you. You still got, still got one left. Still got a drone left. There you go. Careful, though. I don't want to get spotted shooting this. Very nice. All right, let's see if she responds. Oh, yeah, that door doesn't unlock when you go from the other side. You have to re unlock, like, you have to crowbar it no matter what if you come from this side. So he's that's so weird. That yeah. Some doors just stay unlocked if you, like, open yep. them once, and others, like, nope. I feel like that's another thing in this game that's worse. Yeah. Um, so Chris looking pretty good here. He's going to go, I didn't see if he placed it or dropped it, but if he placed that EMP, he should be like pretty solid here. I think he placed it. Yeah. Yeah. So he just waits at scooter exit right here. And then as soon as she goes over to pick it up, detonate and he's good to go. There's pretty much no risk of non-target here. So, um, meanwhile, Yanini has the homeless disguise. And I think he has Hush knocked out, but he doesn't have Imogen knocked out, and he didn't make his way back up to Hush. No, he had quiet scissors, though. Yes. All right, Chris has got the kill. Oh, he's red. He, he's red. Wait, what? I think he did it too late, and the guard caught up. Oh, that, that crew would have... You need to hold yeah. instinct the entire time there. You got to be very careful with that. If you're going to do a live kill like that and not KO her and do the propane, you got to be very you got to be watching. There's no reason not to watch. You're just waiting around anyway. So this now puts a big lead in Yanini's hand. Yeah, exactly. Like, he just placed his propane. I think it's a bit far, but I'm not quite sure about, like, the range and everything. I didn't um, catch where he placed it. He placed it in, like, the middle of the yard there. Oh. Is yeah, he... he just... Did he KO Imogen? Uh, no, actually not. He might just go back and, I don't know, do that later. Uh, after he acquired a block guard up here again, because he's now moving into Hush. Uh, moving on to Hush. He has the scissors and everything, so that should be an easy kill for him here. Yep. Same as he doesn't get spotted. He should be fine here. Yeah. Hopefully nobody hears this frontal KO. He's tranking the researcher. He's KO'd a block guard. He's good to leave these guys out. Yeah, and there's his block guards, this guys that he needs. Yeah, very nice. So looking very good for Yanini at the moment. All of the people who had a heart attack about their points can rest easy mm. at the moment. Um, we'll see what happens. What happens here? I think the propane strategy is just far more reliable. Just because you're most likely gonna have you're gonna knock her out. So you might as well, you know. You might as well, like, do the propane. You're going to knock her out. You can place it the way yeah. you want. You have no qualms about the uh, the detonation or anything. <laughs> okay. Yanini's got Imogen knocked out. That guard is tranked. So even if he is found, it's not going to count against him here. And he's got the right disguise. He's going to go dump this blue hat yeah. guy. I wanted to mention that he needs to be careful that this guy doesn't get spotted, but yeah. uh, that he thought about that. Very nice. Um, I don't... What's he... Uh, no I remote? I think he's trying to get... No, I think he's trying to get the uh, red hat here. Yeah. So that he isn't trespassing anymore. Oh, yeah. yeah, he got the red dongle, so he's going for the, the camera exit down yep. there. This is looking good. I don't think this can go wrong for Yanini, so I'm gonna yeah. prematurely call GG's on that one. He's zooming in on it. Nice. Very well done. Unfortunate yeah, cool. rip from Chris on that. And that uh, kill there. 
not quite sure what happened, but yeah. I think he just got a non-target on her guard. If you wait too long, yeah. her, either her guard will catch up or some of the street guards will come over. Because they come over to like help with the security of the, the meeting and stuff. So yeah, everyone just gets uh, 1.03 per uh, <laughs> yeah. turn rate. Enjoy your uh, 3 points per, what would it be? Per 100? Yeah, yeah, three point. Enjoy your three points per hundred points put in. So thirty points if you put in a thousand. Nice. But Twig, what did Twig put in? Fifty k, and so he would have yes. gotten, what, like three hundred back, or well, no, not, uh, fifteen hundred, right? Something like that. I don't know. I mean, Twig voted for Yanini as well, so. Yeah. 31.92 return rates for Chris X3. That's, that's I know. So insane, though. Uh, imagine how many people would be sad in the chat about all their points. Yeah. That looked really, really good for Chris, too. That's really unfortunate. Yes. So we might just see a decider here. Yeah. Too bad it can't be China, but... <laughs> It would be insane to triple China. Man. Yeah, I would. I'd be. The, I would do a China only roulette tournament. I would be all in favor of that. But I know no one else would. So I think roulette will also become more interesting once we open up to the legacy maps. I'm really excited yeah. to play some like uh, some Whittleton and some Paris and stuff like that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. And some of the uh, the veteran players will get to show off just how good they are on some like Froat on Paris is like virtually unbeatable. <laughs> He's just so good on Paris. Yeah, that's going to be for sure for sure interesting. Uh, of course, the like rookies as I am myself uh, are we we need to have a bit <laughs> <laughs> English our language. We we do have a bit of uh, catching up to do to yeah. like be able to compete in that, but yeah. Well, we have a whole archive of uh, previous matches yeah. that you can watch, see all the all the strats. But there there are players like like Froat, for instance, who like he probably has like displayed I don't know thirty to forty percent of the strats that he has on on stream and in in tournaments, and like he's still got a whole bunch of strats that he doesn't yeah. show off. That he had just the spin hasn't come up yet where it would work, and is probably why. So. Pidgeo just translated what you said into what looks like Hawaiian to me, perhaps. I don't know some or language. Whatever they speak, I'm. I don't know if it's technically called Hawaiian. Hawaiians have their own language, right? I I, I don't even know. Like that's where like Aloha at, and stuff come from, right? I'm bad at stuff like that. <laughs> me too, dude. It's Hawaiianese. Nice. Hawaiianese, Hawaiian, whatever. Did you like already? Oh, yeah, I need to cash out. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I just just uh, realized that. All right, yeah, let's start a new one. Who will win Chongqing? Two minute prediction. All right. Any predictions in chat on the uh, the spin? Are we hoping for a torture spin, like falling object electrocution? <laughs> Where neither player knows how to time anything right, so it just goes to shit. Including myself. I wouldn't even know how to get, get a fallen object kill in uh, China, I think. Um, It's I banned for Imogen. Of yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Um, Hush, like, you have to do the satellite lure. And then he walks out. Oh, yeah. Of the, right. As soon as he walks out of the door, there's that weird little cage that you can drop. But you yeah. have to lure him to the cage with something. 
like coins or a toss distraction or something like that. He doesn't he doesn't walk under it. Or you can KO him and drag him, obviously, but yeah. there's other things around that could prevent you from doing that, like the the roof guards. So it does require a bit of setup. <clears throat> Let's check on the prediction. What do we have here? 57% in favor of Zanini. That's a... Much, much uh, smaller gap this time. Yeah, I think after, like, we saw what, what Chris X3 did there in, like, his first Chongqing run, we, I think more people are willing to, like, put their bullets onto onto Chris here. Yep. Because, like, he really looked good in the, uh, in the run. Um, all right, you mind if I run this one down? Yeah, sure, go ahead. So for Hush, we have Tanto disguised as the board member, and for Imogen, we have a Fall as the researcher. So this is actually a pretty quick spin um you don't need suit so i would rec this is actually a dumpling spin start in my opinion going immediately for the board member and you can make your way up to hush and still catch him and uh grab the tanto that's in the room or bring it with you either is fine and then there's a researcher up there that you can grab to go do the fall kill on imogen where you would just drag her up the metal stairs a bit and toss her off so this is looking like maybe a four-minute spin, if done as fast as possible. Uh, if you're looking for maybe a little safer, or you don't know when to shoot the drone exactly, it'll probably be about five, five and a half. Yeah, this basically it seems like this is what both players are going for right now. Uh, both already in the board members' disguise. Yeah. Taking uh, different paths here, though. Chris going through the facility while... Yanini uh, climbing up the outside. Yep. And the advantage here, in my opinion, is for Yanini because he's going to be able to shoot a drone first. Also, I'd say it's a little bit quicker, actually. Oh, yeah. Not be much. It is, for sure. Yanini also brought the Tanto with him himself. Um, not sure about Chris, what if he brought it with him. Yeah, it's I mean, it's a perfect kill on Hush. I mean, the Tanto is right there, so it's not something that you yeah. necessarily need. But it, the Chong King doesn't require a whole lot of inventory space most of the time, so it's you, you do have a lot of wiggle room here. Oh, he's just yeah. gonna do a live kill. Very well done from Yanini. Yeah, I think he remembers the the Tanto as a unlockable since uh, I think I cast a match with him where the, uh, a similar condition came up with the Tanto, and um, yeah, Chad pointed out to us that, that the Tanto is in that indeed a unlockable that you can bring with you. That was uh, that was in for fun that forgot. Yeah, exactly. Yep, that's very unfortunate. I think he had that one too. Yeah, so Janini got his kill on Hush, uh, already is in the scientist's a researcher's disguise. Yep. And is moving to Imogen now. And I think I didn't see if he brought a tranquilizer with him or not, but this uh, he has a lock pick, which I actually am starting to really like for Imogen strats because you don't get caught opening this door and you can shoot a drone pretty early and not have to worry about how do I get this door open in front of her. You just lock pick it. Yeah, he actually brought a trank, at least one. I'm not sure if he... I think he only has one. Yep. Um, is he going to crowbar it? He has time to crowbar it if he wants to, but I think he has a lockpick. Yeah, he's got a lockpick. So he'll just take a trank shot on this guard. Pretty easy. Very standard. Yeah. And then he will uh, most likely just KO her. And he's got... See, the reason he's got this lockpick, I think, is because he got ripped doing that headshot that missed on oh, yeah. on her and those street guards heard like heard the panic. Oh. Okay, he got the he got the trank shot. That was close. Yeah. But uh it hit and he has nice. the green guns, so very nice. Only uh, watch the umbrella gun. lady. Okay. Oof. That's still green guns even after Imogen should have seen her uh, her body got knocked out there, but She did. He was just tranked. Oh yeah, that's true. So he's right, yeah. yeah. Chris that's, has that's got the oh, that's a restart. Oh. <coughs> yeah, and Yanini just dumping her over the edge here. 
Yep. And that's going to be a Green Guns exit for Yanini here. I don't think this can go wrong. Very well done. Like I said, about about a four-minute spin if you do it as fast as possible. He went sub for it. He proved me wrong. So, Very well done. Very quick. Yeah, not really, no, not really a time wasted anywhere or something. Yeah. So yeah, that was that, that was, was clean executed there. Yep, that was perfect. Very nice from Yanini. So Yanini will be moving on to face Mr. Mike in the grand final. That should be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be a hype matchup, I think. Yeah. Um. Does anybody know what happens to the map pool for the grand final? Is it any map? It, get, it gets reset. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow. Mr. Mike with the uh, eyes emote. Like, uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after that performance, uh, I would I would also be like, hmm, a little bit. Hmm. Maybe a little bit, hmm. All right. Very well done. That was quick. What was that? 20, 20 minutes? Yeah. 20 minute match. That makes my download time a lot a uh, lot less, my rendering time a lot less. Thank you for that. Very well done. Um, let's head over to the bracket really quick just to show the grand final. So there is the winner's bracket. Yanini has successfully traversed the loser bracket and Mr. Mike successfully traversed the winner bracket. So that's who we will see in the finals. Uh, it's going to be on Sunday, I believe, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Very, very nice. So uh, check out the Discord for if you want to keep up with like the map picks and stuff. Uh, the matchup will most likely show up in the matchups tab. And then all, as always, hit maps for all of your hitman needs. And uh, other than that, thanks for co-casting with me, Curry. Appreciate it. It was fun. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Very fun. Quick, quick two China matches. Yeah. I, I, I like that. That's a, uh, that's a good day for me. So. All right. Uh, let's see if there's anybody to raid. Let's see if anybody is. Hmm. Doesn't look like anybody's online that I know of. So, all right. Well, I guess we'll cut it there. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Appreciate it. See you guys later. Bye.